Hey, you wonderful people. I know this video is a little bit, uh, delay delayed? I don't know. I was meant to put one out a lot sooner, but I was a bit ill and then very busy and then I got ill again and, oh man, it's just been hectic. Anyway, I hope my sound is okay on this and the camera is okay. You know me in technology, I'm trying a whole nother, another new way. I gave up using this. I mean, there wasn't really much wrong with it. I've just figured out actually, I've just had to change my settings. Could have been my settings. I couldn't get it to sync up with the um, microphone that well. Could have been that. Might have to give that another go. Not using my phone this time, I'm using another one. Not another phone, another camera. And my snowball microphone. Anyway, jabbering. I have a wish haul for you guys. Whoop, wish haul. Um, my son's in the other room playing Xbox. Don't know if he's gonna pop in at any point. Um, my partner is hopefully keeping him busy. It is very, very hot in the UK today. So let's, um, I'm gonna start with this really big one because I have opened it. I got dead excited about it. Um, so, oh, showing you guys my address. Oh well. Anyway, got dead excited about it. I have to show this to you. So it came in a big box. The postman had to press my buzzer. That was a wrapper for something else. Okay, so it is this owl lunchbox oh what my life you could get it in different colors i wanted blue and it clips at the sides like that and oh they're quite hard and like that and when you open it it has two sections a smaller section at the top and a bigger section here and it came with these little knives and forks these remind me of children's playset knives and forks and they've got little hearts oops at the top of the handles which i think are ultra cute and these are the bottoms so yeah i didn't realize it's going to come with the cutlery cut cut there with the fork fork and spoon didn't know it's going to come with that so this was only a pound and a pound shipping. Um, can't get it on. I was struggling to get it back on there. So that is that. And it is, oh, I can't wait to use it when we go out on our bike rides or our walks or something. That is just gonna be awesome. So let me just put that back in the box. So. What time of day is it where you guys are? It is 3.54 in the afternoon here. I just wondered what kind of time you guys watch the videos, you know? Um, so this one, this is, I'm ultra hesitant about this one because suddenly 21, used one of these and she had a reaction to it and um, I've got really sensitive skin so um, I don't wear makeup that often either as we've already established um, so yeah I'm really hesitant about this so anyway this is the XO2 stick highlight and contour stick is it gonna focus oh man the focus on that is just mmm Anyway, so the box is a bit squished. Down the sides it does have the steps. And that one. So it says prep, highlight and contour, blend. Voila, which is obviously all finished, well done. So, got this in WSO1 light slash medium. I'm really nervous about using this guys me and my skin is terrible anyway as you uh, all the one all of you people that watch my videos regularly would have seen that I do get sores um, my hand is just healing from some there um, got another one 
can I get it? Anyway, I've got another one on my arm there. They're not contagious. Um, we still don't know what it is. I've been getting them since I remember. So anyway, this is the top side. That is ultra light. Don't know if my lights are making it any lighter. So let's try and get it into the camera so I'm blocking some of the light so you can see it. So let's do a quick swatch of this one. It feels nice and smooth and moisturizing. So that's what that one goes on as. That felt really nice going on. Mm. See the thing is, doing a swatch on your hand, you're not always really going to tell if you're going to get a reaction from it, which is really irritating. Um, so yeah, I mean... Then also, if you've got full face of makeup on, how do you know if it's... How do you know what's giving you a reaction as well? Maybe I should just try one product at a time and see if I get a reaction from it. And then if I do or not, then I'll do a full face. Anyway, so this is the darker side. It says it's medium. Oh, it just goes on so nice. Can you see that? Just there. Should I do another one? Hmm. So, never contoured before, haven't got a clue what I'm doing, gonna have to watch some YouTube videos. Ugh, real, 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 real nervous about using this one. So, where should I put that? Just put that over there. Good old monster. Thanks to everybody that has subscribed. I have noticed I've got some new subscribers. Um, when you guys do comment on my videos i really really do try and um, reply to the comments because i think being interactive with my viewers is very very important and very very important okay now the next packet now when i get packages through and my partner's here he's always like oh can i open one can i open one can i open one so i give in and i let him open some packages especially if i know that they're going to be for him but this one i let him open because i'm really excited to use these as well these came in a black bin i'm just going to call it a black bin bag because it reminds me of a bin bag sorry about the rustling i don't know how loud my microphone is picking it up um i keep adjusting my microphone settings as well so these came in a pack of four and they are the um you, you couldn't pick the colors they sent sent them um round randomly and they're the sauce pots that you clip to the side of your plate. I thought these were going to be silicon, I don't know why. Hard plastic makes more sense. So, imagine this is your plate, you would just clip it to the plate and you would put your sauce um, in the side there so that it didn't, you know, touch all of your food and you could just dip it. Or another thing that you could do is you could get a big circular one and place them all around it. A big circular one, I meant a big circular plate. Um, and place them all around it and put like um, your Doritos or whatever in the middle. Or even your um, chopped carrots and cucumber. And then you could put all your different dips in those so there's multiple uses for these i'm really looking forward to using these um hard plastic really substantial oh for those of you that do follow me on instagram the cat claw covers that i got i did put a picture up of when i managed to attach only a couple of them to my cat because it was very very awkward and now he's probably only got about two of them left on his feet um because they 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 come off really really easily and they are so irritating to put on so i'm just debating which one to do next guys i'm gonna do this one it's flat we have got no it's not a shoe-in sole it is a um 
You attach them to the bottom of your feet. For those of you that like to wear, bare, wear, walk barefooted, you attach them to the bottom of your feet and then you can go in the swimming pool with them, walk along the beach, just go for a general walk. Um, let's open them. So they are a nice foamy material which are meant to protect your feet. It says, um, Protective, waterproof, and cutting, comfortable, anti slip, easy off, easy on, elastic, and resistant. So, I've got these in a size small, so I have only got small feet, but I think I might try them on my son instead actually. Um, you can get them in different colours, so I just got them in black. And they go up, up to a extra large, which is a US 10 to 11. I'll just hold that back up again so you guys can see. So yeah, you obviously get a pair, left and right. Um, we shall, my mum and dad have got a built-in swimming pool in um, their back garden. So when he's not obviously like using the swimming pool and walking about outside and stuff, he can obviously put these on his feet. Um, or like when they go abroad to Spain or whatnot. Um, it's just extra protection really. Uh, yeah, when I use them, or he uses them I shall let you guys know what they were like I'm not quite sure when they're gonna get used so that might be a review that's in quite a while but I'll put them there ready to be reviewed I'm ready to be reviewed what time are we on Ele 11 minutes okay I guess I should um hurry this up so we have a big black package yet again showing my address Ugh. I really should have uh, felt them out when I get them through the post the postman rang my buzzer for this one um, and it is more this one is all the way purple changing to a different color looks like a blue or a different purple I thought they were going to be the same as these ones but they're not but then I don't know if these are from Wish or from somewhere else that I ordered from because they look very different hmm. I have looked on the I'm not telling you guys about the other place just yet because I have had a few of the packages through from there I'm just waiting for a few more so that I can like do a proper haul from this place and explain this other place to you guys um, but I did order some hair from there as well because I know I've got four packets but I just I didn't know if that was going to be enough or not so these if these are anyway I found some other hair for a little bit cheaper as well um, but anyway so this is when I hold it up to the light, it looks real blue. Looks like the ends are like proper blue. Doesn't look as good quality as the other one either, really. Let's have a quick feel. Oh, this one feels real wiry. Hmm. You can see that, guys. It it does, the ends don't look as good as the others. I might have to wash this first. Hmm. It all looks proper blue in the camera, doesn't it? But it's not, it is purple. What if I hold it back a bit? Still looks blue. Anyway, we shall see about that. Oh god. In case you're wondering why I bought the hair, um as you got I was waiting for it when I did my micro um or box braids, whatever you want to call them, last time. Um, and I was waiting for it to do that. 
And I just got impatient, so one night I got bored and I decided to box braid my hair. Micro braid it, box braid it, whatever. Um, and I was waiting for this hair to come through to do it, and it hadn't arrived, so as I said, I did it. Um, but now as it's arrived, I'll be able to do it again, and I've definitely got enough now. Oh my gosh! I almost knocked everything, which would have knocked the camera and stuff. Sorry, I do keep trying to look into the camera, but the camera's a bit wonky. Is that better? No, I'm still looking away from it. Hmm, see the screen's over here for the camera. The camera's here, so I've got a mirror here that I keep trying to look into so that I'm like, bop, focused. But I really don't know if it is a working. So you guys are going to have to let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Oh man, it's so hot. I swear, when I've got my kid here, I have got two children, as you guys know. Ah, uh, you guys have met. Ah, oh, that, that it's just gonna have to stay there. Everything is falling apart around me. Not only am I falling apart myself, everything around me is falling apart. Anyway, what was I saying? We've just been for a walk to the cemetery. We took the cat for a walk. Um, it was very, very hot. When I have my son, I swear I go a bit more doolally. That's what I was saying, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we still have, we've got uh, three packages left. I shall speed up. Speedy up. Um, yeah, if you guys want me to do a QA and a at any point, questions and answers, obviously, um, leave me some comments with some questions. And I know I reply to them when they're written, but I shall try not to reply to them straight away. And I shall you know, pick some out and I mm, do a Q&A. You don't really know much about me apart from I'm a bit doolally. I say a bit. I'm very doolally. And I love shopping. And I have a cat. And I have two children. And I've got a partner. And I'm a bit of a geek. Nerd. Geek. Whatever you want to call me. What's this then? I just opened up the packet and chucked it whilst I was talking. Sorry, so this is pet socks. I ordered pet socks. Why did I order pet socks? Maybe for when we go for our walks. Oh, but I ordered these so long ago, he's gonna go off grown. These aren't gonna fit now. I can't even get them out the box. What? I like the packaging though. It's got pulse on it. Oh, okay. Oh, these are so cute, but so small. I did order them in a small. And they've got anti slip protectors. Look. Oh my gosh. So these had them in different designs. Oh man, look how small that is. Look. Oh, I can get two fingers up there. <laughs> I meant I can get two two fingers in there. That's just as bad. If it can fit over a couple of my fingers, it can fit on his feet. <laughs> I don't know. How cute. Can you imagine those on all four of his paws? I think they're going to be too small. He's real grown. He's not gonna like those. I don't think he's gonna like those. I might have to try and order some of those sock shoes instead. Sock shoes? Cat sh Pet shoes? You know, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna give up on the whole cat talk. The whole cat talk. Is it broken? Oh no, no, I think I'm just gonna thread it myself. Okay, so this is one of those things that you brush your pets with. So it's got the finger bits here that you slide on in like that 
Oh, that's weird. It smells of plastic. Blech. Anyway, so it goes on your hands like this. Um, this goes in those holes there, and then it goes around and in there somehow. Let's have a quick go. Right, so I've got one bit in there. Oh my gosh. I can't do it. Can't get that other bit in. I've got bad hands and wrists, so. And I was in the hospital the other day with them, so. They're still not 100%. I'm really struggling with this. I'm trying to put this through here to put it on. I can't. Okay, so let's just forget that. So this goes over your fingers like this, and then you brush your cat or your dog. Oh man. That was my phone, sorry. That feels. That feels so nice. It like massages your head. And I know it's not for humans, I know it's for pets, but. Oh my. Oh my. That felt good. I like that. So, yeah. So, that's that. Real smells plasticky, though. I don't like the smell of it. Oh, it was wish. The notification was wish. Trying to get me to spend money I haven't got. Okay, so last package because we are... Oh, my gosh. We're 22 minutes in. Oh, no. A minute long one. It's a t-shirt. And it says, normal people scare me. So I've got this in a small because I see I am small. Ooh, oh wow, see through a good look. Oh, you can see me, oh my god. That is how see through it is, guys. Okay, so this is the t-shirt. <laughs> Normal people scare me. And as we have just established, it's very nice cotton. But oh boy, is it see-through. It is so see-through. So see-through. Wow. I'll still wear it. It's quite nice actually, I like that. The lettering is that weird stuff. It's like it could stick together if you washed it wrong. Do not iron it. I'm surprised that it hasn't come all stuck together if you want a complete honesty. But then I am always completely honest. Yeah. I like it. So, this was a really long haul. I am so sorry. Uh, as I said, if you want me to do a QA, and a start leaving me some commentos. Start following me on Instagram. It is the Ultimate PJ. I'm on Twitter too. The Ultimate PJ. I'm on Snapchat. Paula J. Buxton, but it also comes up as the Ultimate PJ. Yeah. Like, subscribe comment stay beautiful um and i shall hopefully have another one pr out pretty soon after this because all my packages are piling up and yeah yeah see you guys later